This is a very important article that talks about breast reduction in younger teenage women. It's well proven that breast reduction decreases back and neck pain, it relieves rashes and infections under the breast, and allows more active sports and activities without pain. Some surgeons, though, hesitate to operate on teenagers because they fear that they are still growing and that their breasts will become large again after the operation. Some primary care doctors will not recommend reduction until age 18, and some insurance companies will not cover the procedure until the patient is a certain age. This study looked at 481 young women under the age of 21 who had reduction operations at Boston Children's Hospital. The authors first tried to answer the question of when a teenager's breast stopped growing. They found that most girls stopped growing three years after their period started. But they also found that teens who are markedly overweight did not stabilize their breast size until nine years after their period started. In my own practice, I measure teenagers in the office and take pictures. I tell them to go to a good bra store that measures them and mark it on the calendar. Then they should see if that bra still fits well in three months. They can also get remeasured at the store for a new bra if needed. When a teenager has been stable for 6 to 12 months, they can consider surgery. This study also followed their 481 patients for the next 1 to 8 years after surgery. They found that only 6% of the group had breast regrowth. Of the 6% that got larger, 50% had a significant weight gain overall. They concluded that regrowth is possible but not likely in teenagers. Certainly, any reduction patient of any age can get bigger again after surgery if they have significant weight gain or they have a hormone surge, such as with birth control pills or pregnancy. The authors conclude that an individual's readiness for surgery should be based on her particular situation rather than arbitrary age rules. The patient and the surgeon should consider the severity of her symptoms the number of years since her period started, and her overall body weight. Breast reduction surgery in the teenager done at the proper time after growth levels out can be a safe, beneficial, and long-lasting procedure. Most breast reduction techniques also do not take away the ability to breastfeed in the future. In my practice, breast reduction patients are among the happiest patients that I have, and this certainly includes teenagers and young women. Thank you.